Hey everybody, what's up? Circus here, coming at you with a, a new segment that uh, I wanted to do called Back in the Day. We're going to kind of focus on uh, the way Duel Links was when it first came out like three years ago. And I'm joined by Gian Stranger. He's a good friend of ours. How you doing, buddy? Hey, doing pretty good. Excited to be here in this new segment. Thank you, Circus. Oh, I'm glad to have you. Now, if you were back around back in the day, and it sounds like you were, uh, farming was such a big part of the game. Do you remember that? I actually do, um, Circus, and uh, funny story, um, like I was a completely out of a community, like there was no community back then, um, so I was completely unaware of what farming even was, so like just to briefly introduce um, the word farming, it means when in the game you're able to uh, build up a strategy so you can consistently get more rewards um, at the end of the dual assessment point. So um, right. that way, um, what we have, right, um, it's back in the days used to be very difficult because there were very few cards. Um, and one of those strategies was um, Cerberus farming deck. Well, if you remember, uh, people might not, might not realize, but go back and look at like the first three or four boxes. There's no decks in those boxes. I mean, there's some stuff you can put together um, to make somewhat of a coherent deck, but for the most part, it was you had to, you had to do what it was what was called a lot of farming. You had to play a duelist at the at the gate and get their cards. Like if you wanted to play dinos, you had to farm Rex, right? If you wanted to play hey. Dark Magician or Spellcasters, you had to farm Yugi. You know. Exactly, and yeah, those cards were like really had hard to get back in the days. Right, it was... like the first KC Cup, I remember people. One of the biggest OP decks at the time was um, one of them was was Dinos, <laughs> and it was just exactly. like the standard like sixteen hundred attack Dinos with with the field spell, getting it all the way up to nineteen hundred attack. You know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, which seems like if you could look at the current meta. It seems like you got to be completely memeing back in the days, but right. it, it was what we had back then, guys. <laughs> so, like, 9% of what you had to do back in the day was was sit and farm for cards, and it could be really frustrating. Um, but I, I guess I wanted to highlight the deck that's on the screen because I think this was uh, just about everybody's first farming deck, right? I mean, it was easy to get. It was free to play. Um, and it worked with most of the duelists that were at the gate because you only had the one gate at the time. You just had the, the dual monsters gate. Exactly. Which would, 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 you would think that it would make things much easier, but there were some duelists that were difficult to farm oh with servers. Like it was going in with, like, for example, Kaiba. If you remember back in the days, Kaiba used, it, um, used to have enemy controller, which still he, um, he, ha he runs. But back in the days, like, Cerberus would do nothing against enemy controller. Like right now, you look at this deck, you have nothing to protect yourself from that. You attack in, and he just turns you sideways. It's over. <laughs> exactly. Or either Econ take. He would oh, just yeah, kill your yeah. Cerberus and come go for yeah. to counter farm you. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 was the funny thing. Like Kaiba was the worst. I remember people having like like. YouTube video series on the best way to farm Kaiba and there was so many different strategies because like you when you farmed you wanted to get 8,000 dual assessment because you wanted to get as many chances as you, as you could to get the good cards right um, and so people would be like well this one can get you 6,000 this one can get you seven and then, you know finally people like I got an 8,000 assessment Kaiba farm and it was like a huge breakthrough right <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly yeah <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this deck that we're talking about here is the Mythical Beast Cerberus Farm deck. Uh, Gian, you want to start going through it a little bit and explaining how this complicated deck works? Well, yeah, exactly. Like, you have a skill, right, which is either draw sense level or draw sense light. Um, either one would work back then. Um, so you, what you would like, uh, you wanted to, is I think for low level, it was um, getting 1,800 um, damage. And for draw sense light, you had to receive 1500 um, uh, of battle or battle damage or effect damage. Um, of course, being like battle damage, the most popular way. But after that, you get to draw sense, uh, mythical beast Cerberus. And what you would try to do is to first turn, depending more than likely, like depending on which character you were farming, you had to get him over certain attack points so let's say oh that was so um, important wasn't it like you had to get it to like 
2400 or 2900 otherwise you were exactly. dead you were dead <laughs> exactly otherwise you're farming um right now right there it was already messed up yeah, <laughs> you it was were already over. messed up <laughs> <laughs> exactly so now um one thing as you guys can tell um there's a lot of spells going on right here so basically do you have to save Ririoku um just for your final combo but you would be using spells like Reload, you would be getting some draw power with Shard of Greed, you would be... Oh, um, well, Mr. F uh, pay to Win there. Those were expensive <laughs> cards back in the day, because you got to remember, when this came out, uh, when the game first came out, there was three boxes out, because it, it released in Japan first before it came to North America, and... Back then, people were like, I'm not spending any money on this game. That's crazy, right? Because why would you spend money on a game that's been out for three months? So if you had three shard agreed from the first box, my God. You, you, you got lucky. <laughs> you got really lucky. <laughs> yeah, you were a whale or something. Because uh, there wasn't gems like there are now. Everybody complains there's no gems now. Getting gems back then took forever. Exactly. Now, there are some differences back then. Hopefully, in the future, we get to cover um, how the game has changed uh, from back in the days to up until now. Right. But I would say that farming gems back then, um, there's like some key part right there. Um, I would say it was, it was a bit easier uh, compared to what we have today. But... Um, yeah, you. I do agree. Um, Shard of Greed was a pay to win, and I just added that card just to be a show off. Sorry, Circus. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> hey, um, but yeah, uh, we have more cards like uh, more later for your for you to let increase your life points. I know that may sometimes um, affect the strategy in the, in like comeback victory points, right. but. You had to some way, um, like, mess, um, well, not mess, but play around those cards, you know? Like, you can either substitute this with any other card, like a field spell card. Jami was a good card. Um, yeah. and, and then you also had Pot of Benevolence. So in case your, your, the character that you were farming was... Um, continu continuously either drawing cards or milling himself out or any other um, uh, card that would work as an engine you would try to get cards back into his deck with pot of benevolence and just blue medicine um there are other cards where you can increase your life points um, your opponent's life points so the final combo would just be um basically just getting your huge mythical beast servers yep um, you have two of them in the field, hopefully by the time you already, you're doing your last combo piece, yeah. you both of both of them would be at around 5k or um, around 7k. So what you would do is just Ririoku, of course, like your, the mythical servers that had least life points, um, attack points, you would transfer it onto the other mythical beast. Yep. And after that, you would just activate stop defense. That, that was way, a huge card because you didn't have econ, so you had to use stop defense. <laughs> Remember, it was hard to get econ. Like most people that I've known, actually got their first copy of econ when they just released tickets. Yeah, other that's than where that, I got mine. Yeah. <laughs> like other than that, no, the drop there was right no way. Econ was like point zero 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 one percent. It was insanely crazy, yeah. man. And up until this day, like. Enemy controller is the best card in the game, the most broken card in the game. Yeah, and then you just attacked over your opponent's monster and just hope that you did more than 10,000 points of damage. So, Gian, why don't you jump into a game and, and start doing it, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk, uh, we'll have some memories here. You know, we'll go back and talk about back in the day as you do yeah. it. Who are you going to okay, farm? So, we got you, uh, Yugi, I think, right? You need, you need yeah. another dark magician, right? You need a, you need <laughs> I a prismatic dark magician. Let's go. I definitely do. So there has been a lot of characters added up Yeah, there was back like then. five when you first started. <laughs> yeah, so now you have yeah. to scroll a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so we got Jami Yugi here. Um, remember, he used to have black keys. Um, so oh, that gathered... was the other thing. Everybody's sharing keys and stuff. Oh, my God. And running out of keys. And oh, it was ridiculous. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So... Let's go ahead. Since I'm missing a uh, Dark Magician for, of course, my Dark Magician deck, um, we're going to go ahead and farm this Yami Yugi guy. All right, here we go. Yugi versus Yugi. Back in the day, servers farming. Now, you got to realize there were so many YouTube videos on this. There were people that were just solely dedicated 
two farming videos. Uh, there was a guy named Vaughn Man X and a guy named Mass Scarin, and that's all those guys did. And they were superstars. Exactly. Yeah, the those names yeah. sound really familiar. Exactly. And you you have a terrible starting hand. I mean, you're gonna live, but I'd like to see a mythical Cerberus. Exactly. So I just increased my life points just to be safe. You know, you never knew Yugi. Oh, I mean... he's gonna kill you, man. He's gonna kill you <laughs> next turn. Oh, he's tributing. Oh my god. <laughs> 2200 points. What a mad lad. Okay, now you can trigger your skill. Look at that. Draw sense low level. Let's go. Mythical Beast that. Cerberus. So we go to start activating our. Your pay to win cards. Look at that shard agree. That, which actually speeds up the farm, so you're cheating. Because back in the day, these things took forever, and farming was not fun. Exactly. So we might probably um, take some turns here. You got to get um, up high because he's at 2200 and he's got that, that moon card that he just played. I don't know if that was his only one in the deck, but he, <laughs> he, he can he can boost up, you know, so. Exactly. So we're just, okay, I think we're safe enough. I, I think you're good. So from now on, you're good for the rest of the farm. <laughs> this is it, guys. This was the whole farm. So now you just sit and pass back and forth. You want to get your other uh, Cerberus out and then you just yeah. go down to the last turn. And Gian's cheating because he's got the Shard of Greed, which is going to speed it up by six cards. I was not uh, fortunate enough to be as rich as Gian back in the day, so I had to play it the old-fashioned way. So, it, 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 yeah, I would say, like, it's really complicated, hey, but, like, yeah. glad to know that we have other options now, right? So... <laughs> This, I mean, this was uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience for months. I think for a lot of people, this was their experience for months when the game first came out. This, this exactly. is what you did. I turned on YouTube videos. I, I would watch Shady Penguin. I would watch Mascarin. I would watch uh, Von Man X. And I would do these while they were also doing these on screen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This was before DK had even started streaming. Okay, This was like way back when. And you're doing like pod benevolence, so you're getting really fancy. I never got that fancy. <laughs> I just figured it out. Sometimes, like for example, Taya, I don't know what car she ran, that she was just like um, speeding up her deck, and I was like, dude, chill, chill. And yeah, that's why I had to, um, for yeah, just put that in the deck. Oh, okay. So that they wouldn't finish before you, because you want to play all your cards, because obviously you get that bonus, right? Exactly. So right now we're just being careful not to discard too many combo cards. Like for example, Soul of the Pure. I'm going to discard it just because I don't want to also increase my life points to a point. Just trying to um, get those dual assessments um, as good as possible. So as soon as we get our second copy of um, Mythical Beast, uh, which this was also this also used to happen back in the days. You would get your It'd cards. It'd be the last card. It'd be the last exactly. card. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Like, why, Konami? Why? But good thing we have Pot of Benevolence that can also help. Oh, there, it there is. we go. Okay. Gotta so get it finally, up. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to use Reload just to reshuffle my deck. <laughs> and then we're going to use another Reload. Yours is a fancy version. Mine was just the poor man's version. <laughs> and just gotta be careful on those um, card counts because you also like trying to get um, a lot of the dual assessments no matter what happened like for example like trying to almost deck out there's some dual assessments for that also um, yeah. so you can only activate this once per turn but that's fine all right so we're we're, we're coming to the end here folks here comes the the big ending the big last turn how are we going to pull this off, Gian? Oh, it's Shard of Greed even. Ugh. Well, I guess you get, you, you'll get the, the boost still. But So right, we can through. actually do um, either return more cards to our deck. Like, you would either have to do that. Um, but uh, in this case, since we want to finish, like, the farm as soon as possible, um, we're going to... It was just to give, like, the audience, like, a general idea of what was going on back then. So what we did is... First, okay, you activate stop defense, right? And hoping face down, like, do a face down, exactly. do a face down. <laughs> do a Let's face go down. for either left or right. Let's go left, yeah, because 
That that attack on that one monster is like twenty two hundred, man. There you go, twelve hundred. Hell oh, yeah, we're going over top of that. The almighty Bieber warrior. <laughs> so what we um, now this was some something confusing because back in the days people didn't read, and nowadays um, seems like people still don't read. But right. remember, guys. <laughs> so you have the attack of one monster, and then you add that attack to oh, the other monster. Oh yeah, you monster. could really screw this up too. Exactly. So we're going to target first our mystical beast, um, the one that has less attack points. Yep. And we're going to make our other guy gain that attack points. Oh, so you gotta go. you gotta cast the rest of your spells, man. Exactly. Yeah. You so, gotta you gotta uh, pump that thing up. So we actually uh what we can do is either go Ririoku again. Um let's go ahead and graph his um opponent or his monster's attack points and we'll pass it on to our mythical beast and i think that's just exact lethal that's exactly over... enough <laughs> <laughs> exactly all right ten thousand <laughs> well let's see what you get let's see what you get let's for, uh, see assessment hopefully what? we get prismatic oh, I hope you get like a a dark magician here we go here we go what does he get comeback victory few cards left played classic cards nine 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 oh you got a rainbow pack you got a rainbow pack Ooh, you got that magician! Go. <laughs> we got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, listen. oh, but see, you only got 6,500 because you got the campaign bonus, too. Oh, exactly. Now, back in the days, you got to remember, guys, that we didn't have, like, too much um, consistent ways to get, like, over 8,000 life um, assessment points like we do, we have Gee, right I'm now. I'm going to flex all over you. I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to get that 8,000 right here. I'm going to get 9,000. Go. I'm going to get 9,000. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I, I don't want to embarrass you in front of all the people, but I, I think I gotta. All right, let's <laughs> let's go for it. Made. I can't believe you actually got a dark magician. <laughs> that was that was so lucky. That was awesome. All right, I'm using Tristan. We didn't have Tristan back in the day, but I'm just using it for the skill. Here we go. I'm going second. Let's do it. Here we go. Terrible starting hand. This is terrible. Hey, did Yami Yugi did he just pass? He just passed on me. What, who is this man? Oh, no. He's serious now. He's serious. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, my God. He's going big. He's going big. All right. All right. So I do a little bit more life point manipulation than, than your deck did. So I'm going to gain some life points back here. Um, I'll recover life points. I could make it so he could recover. Um and we got we got to get big here, right? Exactly. <laughs> got to get big. Hopefully he can't go over. If he gets another mythical moon, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, no, it's no, a spell okay, parts. he's giving up. He's giving up. So I'm already down to 400. All right, here we go. Um, no, not that one. Not that one. We'll do that. Oh, we get to look at his card. <laughs> oh, he's got dark magician Ooh. in his hand. Let's that see might what be else a good sign. Let's see what else he has. <laughs> Oh, let's look at that one. Oh, Beaver Warrior. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay, now we can't, like, uh... During your opponent's next turn, activate this activate this card. Your opponent cannot change the battle positions of monsters, except with card effect. Okay. I, I said I was going to flex on you, G, and I don't think I can. I'm not going to be able to get below 500 life points. I shouldn't have used that oh. one. Mm. Okay, here we go. All right, so we'll get the last one out. We'll do the telescope. This is going to be boring. Or annoying because we got to keep looking at this. Okay, it's a, it's the you get to look at his deck. He's got one <laughs> card in his deck. Okay, and we'll we'll give him the life points this time. Yo, those are some big Cerberus. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they? They're huge. Uh, this one, right? Uh, no, we want to stop defense. Uh, we'll do this one. Hopefully, it's not the big guy. Oh, it's the big guy. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Look at these things. So, this is where you can screw it up. <laughs> yeah. And then one more. There we go. There we go. Uh, my life point manipulation was off, but you can get it so you can get under a hundred life points. 
Let's see that dual assessment, Circus. Oh, I gotta beat you now. I gotta. Oh, I just leveled up. Nice. Let's see what I get. <laughs> Comeback victory. Low life points. Cards of the brink. Glossy cards. 999 damage. Over 9,900. Oh! <laughs> I mean, you did beat me in dual assessment. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> So had I gotten uh, less than 100 life points, that would have been it. Hey, but sometimes, like, we we got to show both sides of the coin. Like, sometimes you get really lucky with farms. Sometimes, even though you did a perfect, excellent farm, oh, it's sometimes crap out. Yeah. they reward you with nothing, exactly. So <laughs> um, <laughs> even up until these days, like, you still farm, and sometimes you get nothing. But that's the beautiful part about duelings. It's basically just get lucky. Yep. Sometimes. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this walk down memory lane. I know I did. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video series. We're going to be doing some more of these in the future. So if you do like it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Discord. Do all those things. Join our tournaments and have fun. Gian, I love doing this video with you. I'll have to do some more in the future, buddy. I'm excited. Looking forward to it, Circus. Thank you so much, man. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you later.